Hello, everyone. Welcome. I know nobody's here yet, but we'll give it a few minutes and see if anybody comes on. And if not, I'll reschedule. Ick, my tea got cold. <laughs> Alrighty, so we'll wait and see if anyone joins. Hello, somebody came on. Hello. We have four cards to make tonight, I think. Yeah. That might be all I can do. So we'll see. Two for the otters and two for... This is to be used with the otters on one of them. And two for Calming Camellia. That's the plan for tonight. Hello. Welcome. So I have just one or two small announcements. And then we'll get right to the crafting, the card making. That's what you guys are here for, right? Card making. So the items we're going to be using tonight are out of the celebration mostly. We'll be using Awesome Otters, which is free with a $50 purchase on page 11 of Celebration. I kind of got the idea from this, but I didn't do it exactly like that. I did use that paper, though, the Simply Marvelous. And this particular one is Misty Moonlight and Balmy Blue. So we're using those card stocks from the annual. And then the Camellia is a host item. So if you'd like to have an online party and have your friends order from you, if you can get your party up to $300, you will get the Calming Camellia uh, stamp set, which is what we're going to use for the second two cards. Hi, Hildy. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. And um, in the United States where I'm at, that's free. Well, it's free with $300 U.S. dollar order. Okay, and then I'm also going to use a little bit of, um, if I can find it, <laughs> paper is it? oh, wait a minute, never mind, it's not in here, the Sweet Talk, that's in the other catalog, paper, I didn't get the whole set but um this paper here we're going to use a little piece of that in one of the second cards and also we're going to use a little piece of this brand new love this layering vellum vellum layering designs and i'm going to use this sort of scripty one um and that's in the mini catalog and i forget what page that's on let's see if i wrote it on here page 33 of the mini that's part of another suite right here it's part of the artfully composed which i didn't get but i do have the vellum <laughs> hi renee hi heather hi tammy oh yay thank you guys so much for joining me so we're going to be using the otters and then um, the only other announcement i have is there's one or two things from the mini catalog that just went on not orderable one is the white frayed ribbon, which is, you know, probably not a big deal. It's this. And one is a stamp set. Unfortunately, I can't remember which one. This is the white frayed ribbon, which if you pull frays, yeah, it's not, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, but there is a stamp set that went on. It, it, we're not doing back orders anymore, just so you know. Hi, Clay. Um, because Stampin' Up! was getting killed with back order shipping um, because of all the shipping delays. And um, that brings me to my next thing. And that is the Kisses and Hugs, um, which you had to sign up for by 10 January. The shipment is delayed. They're still waiting on some components that go in that paper pumpkin kit. But they have indicated that they're going to have it come out in time to get your um, Valentine Day or whatever cards done. So um, I will try and do an unboxing and uh, make as intended video at least the day I get it 
which I'm guessing is going to be towards the end of January now sometime. Usually I get it around the 18th or 19th, but I don't know how much it's delayed. It depends on when they get their stuff in. So those are my only announcements that I have. So don't forget celebration going on. We still have the annual catalog though. All right, so we're going to do two cards, um, like I mentioned. And let's see, the first one is, I have everything sort of discombobulated here, is this one. It's on Misty Moonlight. There's a piece of balmy blue in here, which I put on my Stamparatus and used the Gentle Waves cling stamp and I use misty moonlight on it that is a huge stamp and it goes um because the waves go like this your paper has to go horizontally as well which I didn't realize the first time I was going to use it yes the vellum is printed in black um let me show that to you I'll get out a piece of white card and maybe you can see all of the sheets are different um the one i'm using tonight there's like a newspaper print there's a scripty this is the one i'm using tonight and see how this one sort of goes across in about an inch and a quarter or so rows the printing goes in different directions but there's some maps there's some newspaper print ones I think there's a couple different kinds of maps. And then there are some sheets. Um, most of them are printed in black, but I think there's one or two that are printed in white. Uh, that's a regular like newspaper print and the Scripty. So we have those two printed in white, but most of them are printed in um, black. I hope that helped. <laughs> um no they what they're doing clay is they're just waiting until the items come in and then they'll make them orderable again it's just they don't have a back order category anymore because they can't keep sending things out um that you back order you know every time something new comes in it, it was starting to cost too much i know i yeah i need to make us i'm trying i'm going to make a schedule that's going to be part of my action plan goals for the 13th video i'm going to make an actual schedule of what products i want to use from the annual and the mini and so forth from now till the end of april anyway the white winchum yeah they'll make good right and especially like dark colors like navy or black the white uh, vellum will make good layers yeah i did show them on my unboxing all right well let's get making this card and what we have is your regular a2 i've already done a lot of it because i did fussy cutting and i didn't want you to have to watch me do that um a2 you know cut it in half oh i can never explain this right scoring it at four and a quarter so you're cutting it at five and a half on an 11 inch side sheet of the paper i hope that makes sense all right now what i did is i took a sheet of i actually took two sheets of the simply marvelous which let me get one out so that you can see what it looks like before i cut it this is what it looks like and the other side is this and it comes, there's eight sheets of each color to a pack. Uh, this one is Balmy Blue and Misty Moonlight. This one's Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather, which I was going to use tonight for something else, but I never got to it today. And then there's a pink one, a yellow one, and a Just Jade and something one. And there's eight sheets of each of six colorways. Okay, and that's a celebration item for you with $50, 48 sheets of six by six. So what I did is I took the smallest, no, that's not right for this card. I, yes, it is right. I took, all right, let me show you. I'm going to explain it wrong and I don't mean to. I'm going to try and get it right. Oh, thank you, Sherry. I'm glad you could make it. Welcome. 
um yeah please share and let people know i'm on and um if you don't have a demonstrator in the united states i'd love to be one for you um okay and then i cut it down to five and a quarter by four my standard background paper right that's what i did and then i took the one two three fourth and fifth of these um let me tell you what they're called layering diorama dies these are in the annual catalog they are item 155565 they don't have a bundle um they just come stand alone so what i did is i cut with the smaller of the two that i just pulled out the, the fifth one in from the side out of this paper but then i cut a piece of balmy blue out of the next larger size because what i'm going to do is i'm going to stamp on that larger one and then put it behind here so we get um a little dimension kind of thing i hope that made sense <laughs> all right let me put these away i did it a little bit differently on the next card so i wanted to explain but using the same two and i just put them away very badly okay so what we're going to do is bring my stamparatus up and the gentle wave is already on it and we're going to stamp just this let's see if i do this right forgive my messy paper um also what i learned now which way do we have this going we have this going this way and that's kind of important so you know you have to decide which way you want your card to go so you know which way you want your waves to go and I'm going to use Misty Moonlight. I think the diorama set is a must have. I really do. Um, and you kind of need to decide. Um, here's another tip. It actually is better if you kind of drag your stamp pad across this background stamp. Because otherwise you get lines of... Um, you know, like where you went down kind of thing. Yeah. All right. And I do not have a mat in here. I took my mat out because this is clean red rubber. It doesn't need the mat underneath. It just has that. Um, now, the only problem with having a scrap on top here is there's no lines on it. And I'm just making sure this is kind of where it stamps. So I'm making sure that's kind of centered in there. And we're going to go ahead and stamp some waves. And I have a little thing that Stamp Girl gave me. Hi, Nix. To push down on here. But it is buried under something. I can't find it right now. That's my agenda. Is clean this room up, too. <laughs> it's a mess. And nope. Too light. Right in here. I'm kind of really pushing hard on it. But I may just re-ink right in the middle there. right in here could be my ink pads not real juicy either very possible a couple of my ink pads are not real juicy i'm going to push hard in the middle there that's better okay and i will clean that um I do not recommend cleaning that with baby wipes. I did that the first time and I got um, lines, um, little, not lines, little fuzzies on it. I do recommend using your chamois. Just pull it out of your whatever case you have it in. And um, if you don't have it cut in half, just use it. And um, what am I trying to say? Use the chamois <laughs> or a spray cleaner and some kind of a soft, cloth that doesn't leave fuzzies hi next did i say that already yeah the paper pack is pretty cool all right so here's another tip first of all figure out where exactly you want this to go in here uh, which direction and just have it handy now to get it in the right position what i'm going to do and have it not slip around hopefully I'm going to put a little line of glue just down this left edge and put this paper down. Now, if you want this bumped up on dimensionals, I would just do this side of dimensionals too. And then 
what we can do because this is bigger than the opening, right? You're going to put it in like this. You can go, what I did is I lifted this up <laughs> and I just went around this, but it might be easier just to go around the very edge of this. I just don't want to get any glue showing out. So you have to go right around the edges. Oops, I might have gone in a little too far on that one. Okay. Now we're going to bring it in. Oops. Not get the glue inside your, your inside of your card. Yeah, that one's got a little too much coming out. And position it. And go down. Have a little bit of glue. I have a glue eraser, so I might have to use it. And there you go. And then... You can come back in and put glue on the areas that you didn't have. I'm not bumping this up, so I'm including that. Okay, I hope that was helpful. It worked for me. Because <laughs> if I didn't do that glue down the one side, the paper kept slipping and I was not getting it positioned well. Okay, now I have already stamped this. I stamped it in Memento Tuxedo Black. And I color them in um, light and dark crumb cake. And the little fishy is light and dark pale papaya. And then his little nose I did in dark smoky slate because I felt like the light black was too dark. And then I put a little bit of this um, shimmering crystal effect just on his nose. Also, I am not good. Let me show you the image on the stamp set. You see this has these little furs sticking out everywhere. It's really hard to cut around them. And I didn't want to cut them off. So what I did is I cut around them. And then I colored it balmy blue with um, the Stampin' Blend marker. I can't remember if I used light or dark. And I actually also went all around this little guy or gal, I don't know what, in balmy blue. Because I thought that would blend in with the water better. And you wouldn't be able to tell if there's little, like, you know, boo-boos or something. <laughs> so, thank you for the thumbs up. Hello, everyone. I appreciate you joining me this fine Thursday evening. How's your weather, everyone? We're supposed to get two to five inches of snow tonight. Ugh. Okay, I need a little piece for his, his little tail here. So, these are my mini dimensionals, and I'm just going to cut... Actually, I want a sort of long piece, but a sort of skinny piece. I'm just going to cut a little piece along the edge. And put it right down part of his tail. And then we're going to stick him on here. Normally, I would color with you, but we'll do a little bit of coloring on uh, the one flower card from the Camellia set. Um... And let's see, which way do I want him? I guess like this, this time. All right, now here I used a different die. Um, it is from, let me find it, the Stitch So Sweetly dies, which I use, you know, quite often for the rectangles. But this time we're going to use this. And I just stamped with um, Misty Moonlight, although honestly, I might use Night of Navy because I think it'll be darker. And I cut this out twice, the, the balmy blue where I stamped on it, and then also the Misty Moonlight behind it. And I do not have those pre-cut, so we're going to stamp on a scrap of balmy blue. Here we go. And I'm going to use Knight of Navy. I think it'll just show up better. I thought we had a wave embossing folder, but I guess it retired because I, I couldn't find one in my stash. It's yo-yoing but trending colder. Minus 56, Renee, with the wind chill. Are you in North Dakota? I... I've been to North Dakota, and it is definitely cold there. All right, let me find this sentiment. The sentiment is, you are utterly awesome. I'm going to make one more card with these otters, but not tonight. 
and it'll be a birthday one because that's the only other sentiment in here is it's birthday time and there's a little birthday hat so I'll, I'll do one with this guy but not with this paper um, and maybe I'll do another live on Sunday or something and, and use this again all right so I'm gonna die cut that and then let me get a scrap of I have a scrap here of misty moonlight will that fit yes all right so I just need to die cut these that was Knight of Navy. I'm going to die cut this one first. I'm going to use my big machine just because it's easier right now with the mess that I have in here. <laughs> and it's right behind me. There we go. And then I'll do this one. Now this one I have to get on straight. So let me get my used washi tape. I thought the shape of this went better because of the dies, and I originally was going to use an even smaller one of these, but I didn't like the way it looked. <laughs> so, oh, you are in North Dakota? I thought you were somewhere in that vicinity. I just wasn't sure exactly where. Too cold for me. I remember they, when I worked, I went for a work visit to North Dakota up near the border of Canada years ago this is many years ago and um, I remember them plugging the cars in and I had never in my life seen anybody do that <laughs> so it was it was something new to me okay my washing tour instead of coming off there we go okay so that was a fun thing <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put my die away so I don't lose it okay and now I'm actually just going to glue those together. And all I'm going to do is offset like this because I didn't like the balmy blue against the balmy blue on the inside. And it just seemed like it needed something to pop on that side. But it's okay against the pattern paper. I hope that makes sense. So let me glue them together. Yes, right. Yeah, the radiator and stuff on the end of the block. Maybe I'll glue them together. This glue is, there we go. It's kind of on its last leg. And I have another one in case it totally gives out on me tonight. Push that down. There, that's good enough. And then we'll bump that up on dimensionals too. Now, because this is a dark color, if you have the black uh, dimensional, they would be all right on here as well. And they're in the annual catalog. I don't know that I used four on here the first time, but I am this time. And we'll just put that right down here. And then the bling I used on this one were the holiday rhinestones, which I had out and I put them back. Now let's see if I can find them again. Yep, here they are. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. These are in the annual catalog. I mean, you could actually use these ones they call Coastal Cabana. But I used the Knight of Navy because they sort of tie in with the Misty Moonlight and they're sparkly. So we're going to use the Knight of Navy again. And I put like five on this time. I'll put one over here. And I'll use some little ones down here. Yeah. <laughs> this, this sticky stuff from my take your pick got stuck on it let me pull it out and rewind two more maybe a medium-sized one up here and one more like right in here somewhere so these are in the annual and as far as i know they're available they have knight of navy coastal cabana shaded spruce cherry cobbler and pumpkin pie okay and then on the inside, um, all I did was took a piece of paper. This is not the right strip. One second. 
I think I mixed up my in, inner pieces. Yeah. <laughs> this is the right strip. And put it over here. Now you have to decide which way you want to go. This is three quarter. I think this is three quarter inch. Hang on. Yeah. Three quarter inch by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to glue that down on the side. I couldn't decide what else to do on the inside. I thought about putting another little otter, but kind of wasn't feeling it. <laughs> so I just went with the paper because you know what? Ooh. Oh gosh. Well, I'll be using a glue eraser on that too. Um, I have two packs of this already because you know, when you pre-order stuff and you get bunches of stuff, then I had that cut just a little too long. Um, you tend to get more stuff than you actually want from from celebration, like extras of everything. Not everything, but several things. And this was one of them because I figure I can use this paper for many different things. All right, let me get, um, I have an eraser. Oh, gosh, I buried it. Hang on. I'm going to bury it for sure. This is a glue eraser from, or an adhesive eraser, I think they're called, off of Amazon. I think they have them in, actually, I've, I've seen them now in, in Dollar Tree, even. And they just, they're just a gummy uh, remover kind of thing. Okay. Do I need it in here? Nope. That turned out okay. All right. So that's the car first card. He's cute, right? Cute little otter. Otterly awesome. And the second one is similar, but a little different. I used the same dies. Where's my card? Here it is. Oops. The same dies. I turned it this way this time. And here I used the larger of those two dies that I showed you before. The one I used for the background piece on this card. I actually cut it down to five and a quarter by four, laid it this way, this way, and used the larger of the two. Um, and I'm using a balmy blue base. And then I took the negative that actually came out of this one, I think, um, and managed to fit it so that it sort of looked like it went in there and bumped that up on dimensionals, bumped him up on dimensionals and used the brand new cloud punch from the mini catalog. Here's the item code, 157749. And used that as my... Um, sentiment piece and then these are the they're in the annual also and mine are almost gone so i wanted to try and use some blue adhesive back gems in the lighter color which i think is supposed to be balmy blue yeah so that's what we're going to do and i've already die cut everything out you know what let's just go ahead and get our inner piece in it's the same thing. I just did it this way um, instead. So that way I'm not fumbling with extra bits. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, well, they only cost a dollar at the Dollar Tree, and they were like three or four dollars when I got mine on Amazon. It might have been a two pack, though. I can't, I can't remember. I'm really not sure. And, of course, this was several years ago. I have no idea what things cost now. Um, I know food has gone up in price for sure. Like 6% they said it went up in, uh, in general in 2021. So, interesting, huh? All right, now I am going to figure out which way I want this. I think maybe this way. And this one, this one I actually cut out of the same piece. Yeah, I'll do it like this, this time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and glue the bottom part down. You could do it this way too, but 
it almost looked teal in color to me but it doesn't go with pool party i checked it's definitely balmy blue um the back of this could be sky even instead of you know water but this looked more like waves or blue coffee <laughs> blue coffee i don't know <laughs> All right, now we're going to put this one down with some dimensionals. I mean, there's all different ways you can use these diorama dies. I've seen some really brilliant pieces, but I didn't want to make it too hard. Um, and as you see, if you're new here, I use more dimensionals than most, no, most demonstrators do. Because I don't like my stuff to be too saggy, foggy saggy. Especially if it goes through the mail machine, because, yeah, then your cards end up all coming all funky. And then this will leave a border around that. And then this one is the this little guy, and I just cut the water off of him, except for those two little splashes coming up. I couldn't get them. And the same thing with his little furry tufts up here. Um, I could take my scissors and make them rough, but... I just cut around them and then I colored them in balmy blue Stampin' Right. And he is also done in um, Crumb Cake Light and Dark. But I took a little bit of um, color lifter on him. I don't know if you can see that right here and here and just pulled off some of the color. And we're going to put him over about here because I'm going to put the cloud punch thing up there. But we're going to put him up on dimensionals too. So it's double dimensionals here. And I used one regular and two minis on this one. Some of the cards have to be, yeah. Most of mine, I sent out a few um, single Christmas cards that didn't go in catalog packages. And every single one of them, a couple of them she almost put in a regular pile, but then you know they had bling on them and stuff and too thick for the machine and all right now this time um i might use native navy again just for the i think the um sentiment comes out better and i need a scrap of white again this will do and my sentiment you are utterly awesome let's see i'll do it down here because i want to do the punch okay punchy tonight <laughs> i am a little punchy tonight actually <laughs> can you do a close-up of the stamp diorama die cut this one or this one And then that one. So it has, see, it has a little dimensional on that one. And then this one, only the otter has dimension. Everything's glued down and, and the uh, sentiment. Is that what you meant? Oh, this is the finish. Well, we'll get to that in a minute. All right, let me bring in the cloud punch. And figure out my positioning here. Doesn't that fit so nicely in there? Right? You could punch two and do what I did with, with this one and layer it, but I don't feel like I need it on this one. Or you could, you know, do it in balmy blue or midnight blue. Or what I could do, where's my misty moonlight? Um, misty moonlight. I'm going to take my misty moonlight stampin' right and go around the edges. Because this is lighter, I think. And just, that'll hopefully make it, yeah, I think it just makes it pop off the card a little bit more. By outlining the edge. You could use balmy blue instead if you'd rather. Or any other color that you'd like to use. Alright, now. Okay, so this part has to be glued and up here and over here needs a dimensional. And you see, I have this was a scrap. I had um, something else on. So let's see, up here. 
and over here let me make sure there and there yeah and then this part we're going to put some glue on maybe there we go all right there we go and then let's get our blue adhesive gems out and let's see these are in the annual catalog they carried over from i think last year's holiday catalog or something i can't remember exactly but I like the color of them. I just forget I have them sometimes, and they're almost all, so. And I used quite a few because I'm trying to use up some of the things I have because, you know, in May, the new annual will come out. Let's see. I had that up here, but I'm going to put that maybe right there. Three there, two there. That's it. And that is our second little otter card now um what you could also do and i thought about it at one point is cut a slit you know i cut part of him off uh the water part and actually i originally was gonna cut a slit over here and here and kind of slide them in but it it wasn't looking right to me so but you could just glue them down and it may look or maybe glue this part down that would have been an idea and have his and have his top of his head up on dimensionals and that way it looks like he's coming out of the water more i don't know i'm not real good at that kind of stuff but that's an idea i think that would work too so that's the first two cards we're going to do that's it for utterly awesome and like i said i'm going to do another one with this fella here or gal probably with that hat but not with this paper. I'm going to switch to a different paper for that. And I'll do that on another, another video or live stream. So we're going to switch gears now to, and we also use the gentle waves on this one, which is very gentle. You can barely tell they're waves, but it's okay. It adds a little texture looking stuff for it. So that's what I used. And the diorama dies must have in my opinion if you don't have them i strongly suggest looking in the annual catalog and other cap the mini too they've used it in a couple times i think maybe for one of these i'm not even sure we're going to go a different direction now let me get this put away there we go <laughs> it is cute the otter is cute you're all utterly awesome. Hi, Rare Roo. Welcome. Doing okay. It is a cute set. How have you been? It's Sarah, right? I think. If I'm, if not, please accept my apologies. All right, we are going to switch to the calming camellia. This is also a celebration item, and we're going to make two cards with this as well um and what we're going to make for the first one is this so um i stamped this out a couple times one with color and one with black on just a scrap paper to see how it stamps because it's a distinctive stamp and this is all kind of a dark area the leaves are dark stem is kind of dark and um and I liked it better on a color piece of paper with the black ink. Um, but I did test it on just a scrap. This is using polished pink. And that's how it would come out on white. And then you could go in and color it. But I just felt like it didn't make the flower pop. I liked that better. Yeah, this is a scrap. Um, and then here's a piece of the vellum, just a little one and a quarter inch strip by, uh, I believe it's three and three quarter, because this is four by five and a quarter. And so this is stamped in black tuxedo, 
Black Memento Tuxedo Ink. What I did do, though, is I took the polished pink, light and dark, the soft succulent, light and dark, and I thought there was one other one. Maybe not. And that's it. And I colored even a little more on the polished pink pa paper, excuse me, to make it show a little more, like pop the flower out of that background stuff. So, yeah, I did too, Riru. I, um, I didn't do much of anything from the end of September till now. <laughs> Yeah. So, anyway, that's what we're going to do. That's the first card, and then we'll go a different direction with the second card. So I didn't use any designer paper on this. I have a standard A2 black, basic black card. Same cut as the others. Eight and a half by five and a half. Scored at four and a quarter. It's not staying close, so let me score it a little bit better. Okay. Not going to do anything else with that. Um, this we're going to stamp first. And this stamp is pretty big. It fits on the E block. If you have the blocks, my blocks are dirty. I know I need to wash them. If you don't have that block, but you have a Stamparatus or similar, use that instead because it is a big stamp. And same thing, you see what I mentioned about the, the other background stamp? If you, because it doesn't fit on there all at once, it's better if you kind of just slide it and you get the better coverage without any lines in it. And then we're going to put that up sort of towards the top. And I am pushing down to make sure I have coverage because it's not on a Stamparatus. Eh, I'm not 100% happy with that. So you know what? We're going to flip it over. <laughs> no, you don't. Um, I use, to clean my blocks, I use... Um, you can do it a couple different ways. You can use the stamp cleaner, but I have found that just some isopropyl alcohol on a kitchen paper towel works just fine. Now here I'm kind of going around and tapping because um, I didn't get those couple leaves very good. So let's see if that did better. I just don't want lines on it, you know. And I'm going to stand up, get my too, um, too much extra weight on me. To push down on here <laughs> part of the issue i have is even though i have a mat under here the desk kind of it's a regular like an old computer desk that i'm using without the computer tray anymore and um it kind of wobbles down in the middle when i push hard like this so i sometimes still don't get good coverage that's better than the other one i think nah. I got a line up here. All right, we're going to use the first one. Executive decision. <laughs> Funny. I just might have less leaves showing on this. Or maybe I'll make them appear better with the, um, with the markers. All right, let me close my ink up. And I store my memento upside down. I don't do that with the stampin' pads by stamping up because they are automatically stored upside down in the lid in case you don't realize that. Okay. So we have polished pink, light and dark. Yes. And soft succulent, light and dark. Let's do the flowers first. And because it has black lines in it, you don't really have to do anything, but I just thought where these flowers are, I just wanted to color them in. Actually, I want to use the other end. And um, I think I actually used the dark where these lines are and the, and the black core of the flower. And then I used the light. But I might have ended up going over it with the dark as well. So yeah, see this has got a little fainter than it did the first time I did this. This is a flower center here. 
I looked up camellias online and it said the colors are mostly pinks, reds, or whites. Well, white embossing powder on a black card would be beautiful. But not tonight. <laughs> now this is partly leaf here, so we're gonna we're gonna skip that part and just do some of the flower here. And there's some flower sticking out here and maybe here. Did I get it all? I think so. Okay. Now we'll take the light and we'll just use the brush tip also. Be careful when you open these. Um, there's like ridges here to put your thumb on. You should kind of go like this. And if you need to, you can pull with your other hand. I had had one where the whole thing came out and I can't get it to stop doing that now. My, my one balmy blue does that. And I should have called them when I first got it, but I don't always use my things right when I get them. So by the time I realized it, it was... I've had it sitting here for a while. And balmy blue is, doesn't seem to be a color I reach for with the blends very often. I'm not sure why. It's a great color for winter. And uh, I'm, I like blue a lot. So, Hi, Tashana. Welcome. It's okay. We did the otters already. I don't know if you've made cards with that yet or not. But we're working with the Calming Camellia now. And I just used um, Memento Tuxedo Black on Polished Pink so far. We're making this card. And I put um, where the flower outline was, I put, um, and the black centers of the flowers, I put... Um, dark polished pink on it on top of it just to make it pop off the card a little more and I think anyway let's see I think there was a little one here too that I can't see as well on this one okay now let's get our dark and light um, succulent see this is what I'm talking about this one's really stiff there we go so be careful. And I'm using the nib end because I want to do this stem. And actually, there's a little bit of a flower coming out of this leaf, too. I'm outlining this in the dark. And I'll outline this one. And I think there is another one here that didn't come out very well. And this here. And I'm going to make it go down further. Yeah, this goes all the way to the stem here. Which you can't really see. Oh, well. Okay, good enough. And, oh, and over here. It's a little hard to see. I didn't stamp it that well this time. And I don't think I did any of the other ones across the top. Now I'm going to use the light. So this stamp set, I'm going to use the brush end. Um, this stamp set is a host only in the celebration. And because it's celebration, you need a $300 party or this is in the U.S., um, only. I can only speak to the U.S. Party or order value. So I wanted to use this early because you only have until February 28th to get it if you want it. Um, so if you want to have a party, let me know. Or if you want to place a nice big order, let me know. I just realized there's no stem going up to... <laughs> the big flower it's not it didn't show so i'm going to go ahead and kind of follow what the other one had and make one 
and then there was like a little thing here and this one too i don't know why that happened there now i think it'll be okay okay anyway let's color these in a little better just to give it a little little extra color and then go like this and you could use wink Stella or something if you wanted to but i kind of wanted it to have more of a vintagey feel see doesn't that make it just pop off the card a little better than just leaving it stamped plain now let me put these away oh what did clay say no one will know you didn't <laughs> That's right. I'm taking artistic license here. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Now, I wanted to give it a little bit more vintagey look. So let me bring in a piece of scrap. We're going to do two or three things here. I'm going to take my memento again. This little scrolly thing comes in this set. Uh, there is a whole different scroll stamp set, which was Sam Hammond's... Um, million dollar achievement set and i have that i haven't used it yet that's in the mini catalog let's see i'll just do a couple more here you don't have to be precise because we're going to cover some up down here on the bottom but you know we're going to have some <laughs> just kind of outline it a little bit there that's good enough so that's that part and then oops I'm dropping stuff sorry um then what i'm going to do now you could do this a couple different ways you could actually take your ink pad and just go along the edge like this in fact i think i'll just do that um or you could take your black stamp and write marker or you could even take the light or dark smoky slate or black alcohol markers now they will bleed a little more than these inks will i want it to show on the front and i'm trying to avoid getting it all over my hand <laughs> but i just wanted some edging to sort of make it look a little more vintage another thing you could do is take um your in fact let me get one of those your sponge daubers um, i think i have a black one maybe hang on bear with me maybe i don't i have a blank one oops <laughs> i have a sponge oh here's a black one i thought i had a black one i have a whole drawer full of these things but they're not labeled well and you can just kind of make it sort of like it's been in a fire kind of thing <laughs> and go around give it a more vintage feel to it i don't do a lot of vintage cards so for those of you that are experts if i'm doing something wrong let me know <laughs> i don't think there's a right and wrong it's just how you want to do it right artistic freedom and it's something different so i don't usually do it now there's a great set in the mini catalog called ranunculus or not something like that it's a beautiful floral as well so if you can't do the 300 you might want to look that one up it's ranunculus something i'd have to look it up too and then the only other thing i did is i actually took a pencil but i didn't like the way it came out i'm going to use my bone folder and just kind of try and curl it a little bit here on two of the corners and then squish it down not all the way down squish it i'm not doing both the quarter uh, corners at the bottom and the top um, especially the bottom because i need to be able to put my vellum here all right that is all the stamping on the outside so next i have I have to stamp a sentiment 
and I used happy birthday because I need birthday cards all the time. And um, this is one in, ooh, look at my hands, one and a quarter inch wide by I think um, three and three quarter. And I'm going to be putting that across here and I want it down as far as I can go because I want the bow right on that intersection of the stem there. Thank you, Renee. Yeah, right. The beauty of it. You can do whatever you want. Yes, I did buy the layering stencils. I'll be using those. I have a new series starting, Heather. I forget what day it is. The 26th or something like that. Um, I have it in my plan with me video um, or path ahead video. Uh, I'm going to be doing a let's make a mess series. And that will be I'll be using those first in that series just so you know all right i'm gonna put glue dots i'm gonna put like three down the middle and in towards the middle because i don't want them to show on the edges and just about like that and that can go right down here the last time i did this i made a boo-boo i'm not gonna tell you what it is <laughs> so <laughs> Oh, okay. Good night, Sarah. Yes, it was good hearing from you. Glad to see you back. Again, the black ink. You could use polished pink if you wanted to. This is three quarter inches by, I think, two and a half inches. And it's just happy birthday. Now, we could edge that in pink, but I don't feel like it's necessary. Or black, whichever we wanted to. Um, put that over here. Get this out of the way. And I'm going to put that down with blue dots, too. And that will hide. I mean, you could use dimensionals if you want to, but I'm not on this one. Because the ribbon is going to be adding some dimension. And I didn't, and so are the, the dots that I put on. All right. And I'm going to kind of go down a little bit low, not centered top to bottom because of the ribbon. Now the ribbon is the black and white um, gingham, what's it called? Yeah, gingham ribbon, one quarter inch. This carried over from the August to December mini. It was on page 51, so this should be on the website still. Should be, because it was supposed to carry over. And I'm just going to do a regular bow. I tried a knot, a knot bow, and I didn't like it on this card. So we're going to do a regular bow on this one. But I don't want a gigantic bow. <laughs> How's everybody else doing? We, um, I've been kind of, oops, I didn't do that well. Um, my son and I have been self-quarantining because my son-in-law got the you-know-what um, that's been going around. Yeah, and uh, he actually had symptoms. He had aches and stuff, like a, like a bad, I guess, sinus cold and achy all over. And unfortunately, we were just there a few days before that, so um, before we tested positive. So we decided to self-quarantine until next week, which is good and bad. It's good because I'm saving money by not going out. And it's bad because we're starting to run out of a few things grocery-wise. <laughs> but it's okay. We'll live. We have enough stuff to live by. All right, I'm going to use a glue dot again. And I'm going ribbon to glue dot, and I want it like right above the vellum right there. Now you could use this vellum, like you could have a smaller print and a smaller piece of pink and have the vellum behind everything. You could do that. And then I'm going to put this all on the black cardstock, and I think that looks pretty. I like it actually better with the, um, the dauber black on it. <laughs> what do you think with or without the dauber this one doesn't have it this one does i think it's a beautiful card 
do I'll show you what we do for the inside too. I think. No, I didn't do much on the inside of this one. There was our boo-boo. One of our boo-boos. Okay, glue, come on. Um, I have a tape runner that's almost empty too, so I'm trying to avoid using that for paper or gluing. I want to save that for um ribbon tack down, <laughs> which I'll need on the next card. Okay. And there we have it. Obviously, those will have to be scrunched down. I rolled them a little more this time than I did on the other one. On the inside, all I did on this one is the swirls. But quite honestly, I don't like that on the inside. So I'm going to leave that off. Um, and I don't. I think I'm just going to leave it blank and put white on the inside. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go around the edges a little bit again. <laughs> Oops. Except I just dropped my dauber. Maybe I won't do that. Okay, where did it go? Kind of went flying. It hit me and went flying. I don't know. Well, I lost my dauber, guys. Probably be found by my cat and I'll have black ink everywhere. <laughs> it's probably under the desk somewhere. All right, never mind. We're just going to glue it down. <laughs> There's no sense putting black around the edges because if it doesn't show on the card itself. Um, it won't show because it's against the black background. Now you could also put a smaller piece of white in here and put a five and a quarter by four piece of polished pink behind it. That would be pretty. I didn't think of that till I already glued it down. But that would be another thing to do. You like the dauber look better? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I've had mine for a while. If you use them heavily, they they do wear out a bit. Um, I didn't put my gems on yet. I'm looking for my black gems. Um, here they are. These are in the annual catalog. Now, we do have some new ones. That are also nice um, and they are in white vanilla gray Ooh. Uh, anyway gray and black but i have these black ones open these are the matte black dots and they're in the annual catalog on page 143 if you're interested <laughs> and we're just gonna put i have a lot of them so we're probably gonna put a lot of them on. <laughs> um, I don't know. I've had mine for my daubers for over a year, probably two years now. There are a couple of them that I probably need to toss because the sponge part of them is starting to wear out. Um, I bought a container to keep them in from scrapbook.com. And I have most of them in there, but I've been really bad about labeling them. And some of them, I think, were used with non-stampin' up um, inks. Uh, I really need to go through and see what I have and label them and such. Um, and to label them, since they're black plastic, you can use a white chalk marker. To write the name on or you can use your um some kind of a code printout from something but i find that is overkill now this is curling a little bit because i didn't put any glue dots except in the center but i'm okay with that and if you're not then just tuck a glue dot on each end and put a a bling on the top part of it so it doesn't uh, show and i did think about too making this a little smaller and putting the vellum a big piece of vellum behind it you could do that i just didn't want to use my vellum for that purpose <laughs> so all right we have one more card with this set uh give me a minute here to straighten up and i'll be right with you how are we doing time wise perfect oh you're welcome yeah that's fine whenever you can i know your situation thank you honeybees Okay, so that is the first card with that one. The next, we're going to go a little different direction with it. I think that's pretty. I would like that card. Um, 
The next one I brought paper in from the, no, is this the right one? No, from the Friendly, ugh. I have too many packs of paper down here in the city right at the moment. Friendly Hello, which is a celebration item that goes with the Friendly Hello or Hello Friend stamp set. Not using that tonight, um, but I am using that soon, so stay tuned, like Saturday. And it's the back of one of these sheets, so let me find here. So, oh, well, right here. This is the back of this pattern, uh, and this is Pale Papaya, and I, I think black or maybe gray. Um, it has basic black, fresh freesia, which is what we're going to use, granny apple green, petal pink, pool party, and shaded spruce. So I pulled out fresh freesia. This color is fresh freesia. And then I also pulled out a die, which is the, I don't know if I still have it out. Am I going to be able to find it? Now here it is. The, um... Stitched Greenery die from the annual catalog. It is a large die that puts stitching in your paper and all over leaves. So I did that. This piece um, is actually half of a five and a quarter by four. So it's not, it's a little more than two and a half, whatever that extra line is, two and seven eighths, I think, something like that. Um, and then this is from the brand new doilies we have, which uh, come in three colors. These are in the mini catalog. They come in cinnamon cider. You get 10 of those. And basic gray, which is what I used. And misty moonlight. My original plan was to have the designer paper all over it and use the backside of one of these in white. And it just was like blah. So, I changed it. <laughs> You're getting a tattoo. Oh, yeah, I heard you say that on your your uh, one video or live. Oh, thank you, Hildy. Which, which one, this one or this one? Um, so, this is on Fresh Freesia cardstock. Let me bring everything out here. I should have kept one of those out. And it's um, cut the other way. Opening, it's 11 inch by and scored at, um, cut it four and a quarter and then scored it five and a half. And then I've already gone ahead and done five and a quarter by four um, for this piece. And I'm not going to glue that down just yet because I want to put everything else on. So this is like two and not seven eighths, two and oh gosh, let me let me figure it out. Two and a half. So it's one, two, three, four, two and five eighths by four is what this is. Because I cut a piece the same size as that, and then I just cut it exactly in half. But it's gonna go across the middle. And we're going to use some of this um, textured ribbon seven eighths inch smoky slate. Um, it's not basic gray, but it'll work, right? It's a gray. And I forget I have this. This is kind of neat. It looks like it has wood grain in it. But I forget I have it. I forget to use it. And I'm going to use my seal. I would use my seal plus, but the last couple times I've used it, I've torn my paper. And I'm not willing to do that tonight. <laughs> so I just put some on the back. Leave it on the roll. Just connect it down the center as close to the center as you can get it. And then across and get my ribbon snips. This is also using Calming Camellia, but um, this, the image stamp was on the inside this time. And the sentiments on the outside. But I used uh, You're In My Thoughts today. I'm going to pull that back up because it's not quite even. 
doesn't have to be perfectly centered, but I kind of prefer it if it is. I'll cut a little bit of that off. Okay, let me get the ribbon out of the way. So this is in the annual catalog, and it's item uh, 155813. It's on page 139, if you're interested. So when you're doing celebration, you know, you can order things out of the annual or the mini. It doesn't have to be the mini. If you'd rather get things out of the annual, you could stock up on your cardstock or your adhesives or designer papers you might like or other stamp sets even from the annual you don't have to get things from the mini in order to get celebration items that's what i'm trying to say all right i'm using wet glue i'm going to put this as i'm going to eyeball it in the middle <laughs> eyeball it in the middle like that and this is a little bit a little bit loose so I'm actually going to take my seal again and just lift that up and put a little tack down there because I feel like it's loose too loose all right now we need a doily which I should have left out and I didn't <laughs> yeah I like that um, polished pink with the black too and this is basic gray. Now these are in the mini catalog. Um, page 59. They're part of the heart and home suite. In case you're interested. Now originally I got out. These square vellum doilies. They're in the annual catalog. But they weren't working for me with this. The card the way I was playing with it today. So. I left it go this where i actually how i glued that down is i brought out tear and tape which i forget i have um it's called tear and tape because it tears but i thought that would be strong to hold it on to the ribbon in the middle um glue dots probably would be okay too but i have a lot of tear and tape so i'm going to use that <laughs> oops and there goes my card and um let's see if i can get it up though Ooh, my hands are very dirty hang on where are you going to get the tattoo on you heather somewhere visible like on your hand or arm or something i don't have any tattoos my brother is covered in them um i think my nephew is too but he was in the navy so not that that means you have to have tattoos but a lot of navy guys and gals do get them and i know because i used to work as a federal contractor and was around navy and air force guys all the time not so much i wasn't around army too much once in a while. But that was a past life. Long time ago. <laughs> Seems like a long time ago anyway. Okay. So now that's going to go in the middle here. Let's see like that. And then this is using, um, we're going to stamp and we're going to use the layering circles. And I think this is like the second smallest, um, which we're going to use on our sentiment for. And then this was probably the third smallest in the scalloped that I die cut out the fresh freesia with. So that's going to go here. The white will go here. And um, after we stamp it, <laughs> and then that will, the two of them will get glued together and then we'll bump it up. Now I used basic gray to stamp. Uh, let me figure out what I did with it. Here it is. And you're in my thoughts. Yep, that one. 
Okay, I, it came through. Did you hear the bell? <laughs> Your inner form. Okay. Thank you, uh, Hildy. Anyway, that might not be enough room for that. Oh, yep, it is. Okay, so let me put my gray ink away. I forget about the grays. Uh, I like Smoky Slate a lot. I'm going to actually tack this down with some washi. If you have the purple tape, you can use it too. But I always do this kind of thing because, and even then, sometimes it tears my paper. And I don't want it to tear my paper. But I'm going to just put that there. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to run that through the machine. Here we go. zippity doo da. <laughs> And pull that off carefully, more carefully here. Oops, see, it tore again. And I'm going to be really careful pulling this off so it doesn't pull my ink off. There we go. Yay, it didn't tear the paper this time. And I'm going to put my die away because if I don't, I will lose it. And my layering circles are precious to me. Okay, so now... We're going to just glue these two together and then bump them up on dimensionals and then put all this onto our fresh freesia and then we'll do the inside. So this is a pretty color too, this fresh freesia. And then we'll actually we'll embellish it too. And I have two options for that. All right, dimensionals. Yes, the circle dies. Now they might be, they might not currently be orderable because they might be out of stock, but I'm not positive, Renee. You'd have to look at the website, but they'll come back in as soon as they get them on a ship. Um, so if that's something you want, yeah, you could wait as long as they come in before celebration's over for you. Um, we do have some other circles, um, but they're not like a whole set of layering circles. Okay, now I'm going to use just um, glue to glue this down. That's pretty, right? Now you could go around the edge of this with gray. And I actually think on this one, yeah, I took the basic gray marker, Stampin' Right marker, and went around the edge to make it pop off the fresh freesia, but I'm not going to do that now because it's already on there. I like doing that kind of thing quite a bit, going around the edge of things with markers and do that quite a bit. You have to be careful with this um, paper once it's been perforated with the leaf design because the glue will come through sometimes you just get it on it's forgiving for a little while and now before we do the inside we have a choice i used on this one i used the uh, metallic pearls from the annual which i have in silver they come in a pack that has silver and gold. But we also have these brand new um, classic matte dots that have gray in it. I'm going to try them this time. What do you think? The dots or the pearls? This is the one the way it looks with the pearls. I think I'm going to use the dots. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, for the thumbs up. We lost some people, but they left me they left me nice likes before they left. So thank you for that. Um, we'll use the gray dots because they're the same color as the doily, unlike the pearls. Uh, I did a little different this time. Put one over here. And one... I guess we'll put it like there, like here. I think that's probably enough. I did it kind of opposite. I might have to put a glue dot down on the corner 
there. Um, let me put that back in the bag. Because if I don't, my gems end up sticking to stuff and I lose them. We still have to do the inside. We'll do a little stamping on the inside of this one. Yeah, I have some, you know, they had the white pearlized doilies for a long time, and I stocked up on those. I haven't used them lately, but I really liked those. But now they came out with new, and plus we have the vellum squares. Yes, use your doilies. I forget about them, too. And I actually, it was kind of an accident. I um, Let me get a glue dot. That's going to bug me. Um, I was looking for something else in a drawer I have that has stuff like that in it, and they were in there. I'm like, ooh, I need to use those. I didn't get my glue close enough to the edge there, so that corner was sticking up. I may need some more, but I'll do them later. All right, so on the inside of this, I stamped off and stamped the smaller design from this set, this one here, and I just did it in the basic gray, which I just put away. And let me get that stamp. Um, that's something I've done in the past, and I like it if you don't have a sentiment or anything on the inside. And you've got an extra, like a smaller flower, just um, a relief or whatever, in the same stamp set. Just ink up, stamp down, and then I'm going to turn it a little sideways. And then stamp in the middle, because that's faint enough that it can be written over with an ink pen or something and it just makes it look a little prettier <sighs> sorry my daughter just texted me um, i'll have to get back to her later sorry about that i forget to put it on the um, silent oh my goodness <laughs> She would like me to go somewhere with her on Saturday, and I, I like to go, but I'm also a little afraid since it's her house that's had the, the thing going around. Okay, so there we have our Calming Camellia cards. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's telling me it'll be okay because everybody will be quarantined seven days by then. All right, um, so these were our last two cards. If you're in the United States and don't have a demonstrator and you'd like the catalog, let me know. My email is in the description down below. This is a host only, celebration only item. So for these cards, you could use a different stamp set and do a similar card, um, but you would need to have a $300 party um, online party where you just ask people to buy under a certain host code I assign for your party. And we have a time frame, no more than 30 days. It can't be more than that. Um, and you definitely want to do it soon if you want something like this because it's celebration only. So anyway, um, you could do that. Or if you just place a nice large order, that would be nice too. I don't judge. Um, and then the otters are also a celebration, but they're free with a $50 purchase. And the paper, the marvelous paper, is free with a $50 purchase as well. So you would need two, you need $100 if you want both of them. Okay. Those are my makes for tonight. I had planned to maybe try a different uh, card, but I'm going to save that for another time. Probably maybe over the week, maybe over the weekend, but maybe not. It might be Monday or Tuesday. That's fine. Thank you, honeybees. Just, um, I would just ask that you just give me a little credit. <laughs> I saw this here kind of thing. Um, let's see what else. You like the dots. Yeah, I like the dots too because they, they, the doilies kind of matte and so are they so they're they look better with it i forgot i had them at first um yeah circle dies are really if you do any in, another thing renee we don't have circle punches anymore but if you have circle punches you can use them too 
Um, we, uh, I think we only sell one. We may not even sell any anymore. I'm not sure. <laughs> I've done it again. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, thank you for joining me. Um, keeping me company. Oh, thank you, honeybees. Tashana. Okay, I'm going to get off of here because I actually, I've been having a little, like my shoulder gets stiff working at the desk here for too long. So, and I've been pretty much up here since um, late morning, except for a, a break here and there. So I think all the cards came out pretty tonight. My favorite is probably this, these. <laughs> I, I like that hot pink, polished pink on, against the black and with some vellum. And like I said, you could make this smaller and put a big piece of vellum behind it and just have the, you could even kind of fussy cut around this um, and just have the flower on the vellum. That would be pretty too. I might try that. I might try that as well. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks, everyone. And um, I will talk to you again. Let's see. I have um, I have a video. I'm trying to get it uploaded. It'll be up for Saturday at noon. And that will be my hashtag simple stamping and stepping it up uh, video for the month. And then I can't remember when the next time is I'm officially on. I have to switch gears to jewelry and cleaning <laughs> um, for a little while, a couple days here. So, all right, everybody, have a great night. And I'll just put my little message in here. Hugs, love, and peace. Stay safe, everyone. We're still going through this mess. Who would have thought, right? And um, we'll get through it. We will get through it one way or the other, right? That's a really pretty stamp set, um, Calming Camellia. And the otter is fun. I'm going to do one more card with the otter at some point, too. A birthday card. And so we'll see. All right. Have a great evening, everyone. I'm going to get off of here. Bye. Thank you for joining me again. And thank you for the thumbs up. Don't forget to share and all that jazz, too. <laughs> Bye for now. Till next time.